And we are beginning to see the flow of capital back into Alberta. Now that's the message from Premier Jason Kenney today in New York City. Fossil fuels plays a huge role in what your province has to offer. That one refinery is buying about a billion dollars of Alberta energy every year. So my message to Canadians is let's not forget how essential these relationships are. I just came from a meeting with uh, Ohio Governor uh, Mike DeWine, who is one of the most uh, experienced and senior political leaders in the United States, and got his support uh, for us to keep the Enbridge <laughs> Line 5 open. TELUS JUST MADE A MASSIVE COMMITMENT OF $16 BILLION OVER FIVE YEARS. THIS INVESTMENT SHOWS THAT OUR PLAN TO RENEW ALBERTA'S ECONOMY IS CREATING TREMENDOUS INTEREST. PREMIER, I CAN TELL YOU, WE ARE THRILLED WITH OUR INVESTMENT AND WE'RE PROUD TO GROW RIGHT HERE IN ALBERTA. With THIS BILLION DOLLAR COMMITMENT ON THE PART OF DON FARRELL AND TRANSALTA TO ALBERTA IS AN EXPRESSION OF CONFIDENCE IN OUR ECONOMIC FUTURE. GREENGATE They've just announced a half a billion dollar investment. Bank Capital Power for taking these bold decisions. Year after year of Fs with the worst regulatory record in Canada, all the way to a B minus in just seven or eight months. We're going to do all we can to ensure that good, long-term sustainable jobs are created in the province. This hundred million dollar investment the 500 jobs we believe it will create uh, will be a difference maker for many Albertans who are struggling right now. Hope is on the horizon. We're projected to have the strongest economic growth in Canada in the next two years. These policies will begin to yield dividends. And working in partnership with the, the great entrepreneurs who have made Alberta the engine of Canadian prosperity, I believe that our best days lie ahead. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. It is more severe than seasonal influenza or the H1 pandemic of 2009, and it is more contagious than viruses like SARS. All large gatherings of more than 250 people or international events in the province are to be cancelled. We have taken aggressive measures to limit the acceleration of spread, but we will not be able to completely stop it. I want to emphasize that we cannot be complacent. We must be vigilant. And we must look out for each other by practicing good hygiene and employing other preventive measures such as social distancing where appropriate. Together we are investing $4.5 million to purchase new equipment and technology which will expand our testing capacity here in this province to more than 16,000 tests per day by June. We are launching the Bits and Pieces program show us uh, the kind of uh, Alberta spirit in innovation, in production, that we can generate to help fight the pandemic. 20 million non-medical masks for distribution to Albertans. They've arrived and are being prepared for distribution beginning in early June. We have amongst the lowest per capita levels of COVID infections, hospitalizations and deaths in the Western world throughout the pandemic. That is a testament to the culture of personal responsibility and care for others that is hardwired into our province. It's also due to our culture of enterprise. From the brilliant public servants who started stockpiling the medical supplies before the world was aware of a pandemic, to lab scientists who planned ahead to deliver the highest per capita level of testing in the world, to the charities and businesses who found innovative ways of helping the vulnerable, to the countless random acts of kindness shown to neighbours and strangers alike. Albertans have risen to the challenge of the pandemic, and we will continue to be careful, especially for those who are most at risk. But now we must extend that same culture of resilience to overcoming the great economic challenge of our time. With the launch of Alberta's recovery plan, a bold, ambitious, long-term strategy to build, to diversify, and to create jobs. It's a plan for today that provides hope for the future. Albertans have an irrepressible entrepreneurial culture. We are by nature builders, dreamers, and doers. Alberta's recovery plan builds on those and other strengths with timely, targeted investments and bold policy reforms that will create tens of thousands of jobs right now, make Alberta more competitive in the long term, accelerate economic diversification in industries of the future, 
ensure a strong future for the bedrock sector of our economy, Alberta's innovative energy industry, and immediately show investors around the world that we really do mean business. We must now show the same spirit of resilience and enterprise to save livelihoods, to recover, to grow, and to thrive as a province once again.